wheels for this. Very dunky, messy load. Uh, lots of bent pieces, pieces that stick out. So, some of it's banded together, some of it's not. I don't trust the metal banding anyway. So I use a cinch strap technique here and here. This strap's over the top and this chain is over the top. With this right here, you know, forward movement. And I also threw that on top just for extra measure. Um, that kind of cleans up the first section. And then your second section here, obviously, you know, chains up over the top and right there uh, would prevent any forward movement. Cinch strap, cinch strap, and again, cinch strap. And then here, got a chain on top. And then if that piece were to slide forward up there, it would run into the chain. So that's not going anywhere. But the idea is to cinch strap it all together and then hold it down. Now your cinch straps are also holding it down, but I, I don't know. I don't like to rely on that. And then, of course, this, this is pretty straightforward. Metal banded, throw two portables on it just cause. Maybe could have got away with one, but I like to. Obviously, rip new chains like so. But that's what your sense straps look like. And I know a lot of guys don't like to do that, but you, know, you do what you got to do to get the load there. And I didn't have to tighten, retighten anything. Everything rode nice and smooth, just like I thought it would.